Diamonds are made of carbon, sapphires are made of corundum, which is an aluminium oxide, rubies are aluminium oxide with chromium. So once you know what things are made of, you can sort of work backwards. These are some of the most precious and valuable commodities there are in the world. just didn't make any sense to me. So that's when I began my research into alternative materials. How can we create equally beautiful red carpet worthy fine high jewellery but without using mining in the process? So laboratory grown gemstones are about mimicking the conditions within the earth where gemstones are formed but in a controlled environment. Six of these cans turn into an ingot like this that can then be cast into a pair of earrings like this. Um, and what's interesting about this is this sort of like really shiny um, silky gold you see is actually 24 karat gold um, PVD onto recycled aluminium. So effectively taking something negative and turning it into something positive, I think that's the beauty of what is possible in the world of lab-grown gemstones. Lab-grown diamonds are a new product that are seeing a great deal of demand in the U.S. market. About 85% of sales globally are in the United States. I think working with laboratory-grown diamonds and laboratory-grown color stones for me really brings a glimpse into the future of what fine jewelry looks like because I think it is about a celebration of science and art together.